Now we'll talk specifically about the decay of uranium. And we'll start with uranium-238. And I'll draw the nucleus here. The nucleus of uranium-238 contains 92 protons and 146 neutrons. And we typically write it like this, U, and we write 238 up here and 92 down here. And this is referred to as uranium-238. It has an atomic number of 92. Remember, the atomic number is what is the number that determines what element it is. And this is uranium, 92 protons. The mass number is 238. That's the total number of particles in the nucleus. And if you add up these two numbers, 92 and 146, you get 238. There's a total of 238 particles in the nu nucleus. Now this will decay. When it decays, it decays into thorium-234, which looks like this. Thorium-234 has 90 protons and 144 neutrons, like that. And what, what else is produced in this process? Uh, thorium-234, and let me write that. We write TH for thorium. And we'll put a 234 as the mass number and 90 as the atomic number. And we'll, where, where has the other stuff gone? Well, an alpha particle has come out. So I'll draw a little alpha particle over here. The alpha particle has been emitted, and so has a gamma ray. We'll write a little Greek letter gamma there. So what you get in the decay of uranium is thorium plus an alpha particle plus a gamma ray. Now the alpha particle is helium. It's really a helium nucleus, so we call it helium, and we can put the numbers here too. It has a mass number of 4 and an atomic number of 2. Now if you think about the total mass, we still have 238 particles total. And we still have 92 protons, just like we started out with, 238 and 92. But a tiny amount of mass has disappeared in the process and has become energy. And that's the gamma radiation over there, and that's dangerous. And the, the alpha particle here too, this is also a type of radiation as well. It's also dangerous too, but especially the gamma ray. Now, when uranium decays, what we're looking at here is just the first step in a process, the decay of uranium into thorium. Thorium is also radioactive, and it decays and becomes another element, and that then decays and becomes another element. And there are 16 steps in the process, and eventually you're left with lead, and that is stable, so it stops decaying at that point. But what you're looking at on screen now is just the first step out of a total of 16. Now all of this happens according to known statistical rules. We can't tell exactly when a particular uranium atom will decay, but we know that it has a certain probability of decaying in a certain amount of time. And that is what leads us to the concept of a nuclear half-life. The decay takes place at a known rate, and that is in a certain amount of time we know that a certain percentage of the uranium atoms will decay. And for, for uranium-238, the half-life is about 4.5 billion years. So if you have a piece of uranium-238, in a given day, only a very small fraction of it is going to decay. In 4.5 billion years, half of it will decay. In another 4.5 billion years, half of what's left will decay, and so on. So it takes a long time for uranium to decay. And some materials have a nuclear half-life that's just seconds or a fraction of a second, or it can be anywhere in between, but this is a particularly long half-life. Now, you might think, well, four and a half billion years, that's a long time. Not a whole lot of uranium is decaying in a given day or in a given hour. Uh, well, that's not really true, because if you have a piece of uranium sitting here on the table, which, by the way, you don't want to have. You don't want to have a piece of uranium sitting out on your table, because this is dangerous stuff. But say you did have a little piece of uranium here, okay, and it's decaying and it's emitting radiation. The question is, how much radiation is it, is it emitting? If it takes four and a half billion years for half of it to decay, then it must be decaying very, very slowly. But remember, there are a lot 
of atoms in a lump of, a lump of uranium. And in any given second, a lot of them are decaying and emitting radiation. It turns out that just from about one half pound of uranium, you're going to get about three million alpha particles per second. And when you realize that alpha particles are dangerous, that might scare you a little bit. Three million per second, because there are so many atoms in this much uranium. Those numbers might help you appreciate just how small these atoms are. Three million per second. But even at that rate, it's still going to take four and a half billion years for 50% of the material to decay.